Doctors say they are detecting autism better than they ever have, which they say is why more and more children are being diagnosed. It's because of new technology like this. Take a look. This is advanced 3D imaging of a child's face. One geneticist says this could be the best way to diagnose autism. Every parent of a child with autism will tell you, my child's unique. But just how unique? Dr. Judith Miles in Child Health Genetics at MU's Thompson Center thinks 3D imaging of a child's face may help detect autism in children and to what degree? We're using the face as a proxy for looking at the brain. Dr. Miles selected 64 children between the ages of 8 and 12 years old. Some had autism, some did not. Researchers then measured the distances between certain points along the curves of their faces, say from the tip of the mouth to the tip of the eye. Some with autism had wider set eyes and longer distances between the nose and the upper lip. Dr. Miles says the face gives us clues to what's happening early in a child's brain. We'll be able then to be more specific and design both diagnostic tests but also treatments. The face, she says, may reveal not only autism, but whether the child has a mild, moderate, or severe form of it. Early detection can help a parent know then which treatment is best. But if we can say, ah, this is a child who has a less severe form of autism and will say perhaps this child is going to benefit from more social interaction. Dr. Miles also says 3D facial imaging is much easier for parents than putting a child through an MRI to scan the brain. But it could still be years before parents and doctors use 3D imaging regularly.